If you're playing the pipes on New Year's Eve, what tune do you need to know? Old Lame Zine. And that's what we're going through. Two free lessons for you. It's going to give you the first line. If you want the whole tune workshop as well as the sheet music, there's a link below the video. And whether we're doing the non-embellished version, which we'll start with, or the embellished version, which I'll get to, we're going to start on high E, either way. So here's what we're going to walk through in the next two lessons. So that definitely gets the other feel of the tune. Uh, so as I mentioned, we're on E, so we got the... Um, the ring finger is up on the top hand, pinky finger is up on the bottom hand. If that doesn't make sense to you, right hand is the bottom hand, left hand is the top hand, there's a pinky hole for the bottom hand, there's a thumb hole for the top hand, but no pinky hole for that top hand. Fingers aren't curled, they stay pretty straight. Uh, so there's, there's a Chanter Basics 101 in 8 seconds for you. Uh, so as I mentioned, we're on the E, pinky fingers up, uh, ring notes up on the top hand. That's our first movement for the non-embellished version. We're doing just a strike on the low A instead of a burl. We'll get to that burl later on in the video. So we're on the E, we're going to drop down to the A. And then we have our strike. So we drop the ring finger first and then strike with the pinky. If you're getting some squeaks, you're getting some squabbles with that, pause the video and just repeat that a little bit. Assuming you're confident with that, we're going to move on. So what do we got next? After that strike on the low A, we're going to pop up to a C. So that C note, the middle two fingers are up on the bottom hand. So we're getting there from the low A. So we drop the pinky finger and we lift up the middle two fingers. And this is the bottom hand we're talking about. So that's that transition all together. So that gets us to the C. And then now we're going to drop one note down to the B. When we drop one note, we drop one finger, the pointer finger or middle finger, and we're going to lift up the pinky. So the pinky has to stay off the hole. The ring finger doesn't move. It just hangs out in the air there. So if you're okay with that transition, your fingers are doing what you're telling them to, let's, let's add in that B note with what we got so far. So we got two more notes left, and, you're, and then that'll be the whole, the whole first bit with no embellishments, and then we're going to start adding in embellishments on this. So here we go, the next note, I'll, I'll play through that once more and then we'll get to the next note here, it's going to be a, a low A. So these next two notes, we, we made it to the B so far, now we're just going to drop to low A and go right back up to B. So essentially we're just dropping our ring finger, lifting it right back up again. So that's, that's the last little movement there. So let me put it all together nice and slow. So that's the whole first bit. And if you, if you want to jump to the next lesson, the next lesson's free also, you can get all the lessons as well as the free lessons in the link below the video um, but for now let, let's just walk through some of the embellishments in this first part of the the tune here so we're on the E so we're on the E we're going to do a grace note G grace note down to low A so what is a G grace note top finger of the top hand has to lift to initiate that movement down to low A and then it comes back on its hole. So it's first to move and last to come down. Uh, 
And now we have now we have a big one, it's a, a Tor Lewis, so we made it to low A. So now we have a Tor Lewis. Whoa, what the heck was that? Let's let's break that down. So we go down to low G. And we have a D grace note, so we drop down to low G with the pinky finger. D grace note, so top finger of the bottom hand. Then the end of the movement, we need to get back to low A and we're going to get there with the E grace note, so the ring finger of the top hand. Anytime we're doing a grace note where we're transitioning from one note to another, it has to be first to lift and last to come down. And then we go up to the C, and if, you, if you're not sick of grace notes yet, you can add in that D grace note, top finger of the bottom hand. So that finger is actually lifting to start that transition, and then it kind of comes down last or about at the same time as your, your pinky finger of your bottom hand. And here we do a doubling onto the B. So the doubling, there's two grace notes. First we get there with the G grace note. So we've done that G grace note before. And then our second grace note comes from the top finger of the bottom hand, the D grace note. So let me put together what we got so far with embellishments. So here we're on the B, we need to get to low A, but we're going to sneak in a, a little embellishment here by going down to low G first and then lift that pinky. So both fingers go down and then just the pinky comes up. And then we're on the low A, we're going back to B with a doubling. And again the doubling, we need to get there with the G grace note, top finger of the top hand. We transition up to the B, and then we get our second grace note, hence doubling to second. We do the top finger of the bottom hand. Okay, so let's me play that all together nice and slow here. Okay, so we're going to walk through all that. You're going to get the whole tune in the workshop. Click on the link below the video. Uh, good luck with these embellishments. And remember, you, you, it's not all or nothing. You can just pick one or two to add in to dress up your tune a little bit. You don't need to add in all of them if it's a bit overwhelming to start. So, hope to see you in the next lesson and help you get Old Lang Syne bagpipe ready.